Hey guys, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, I'm April. I'm a cosmetic and skincare chemist, and I talk about all things skincare, back end, front end of all things skincare. So if you're interested in that, like this video, join the family. You guys know the deal. Trust me, if you're new here, you're not gonna wanna leave. So join the family so you're not MIA, because it will be if you don't join the family. Okay. <laughs> so as you guys can tell from the title, this video is about the four worst retinols for hyperpigmentation or for people with dark skin or just for people in general that are trying to get rid of dark spots in their skin. These four retinols are a scam. Read my lips, scam. So if you don't wanna fall for the hype and the marketing strategies, keep watching. So the first part on my list here, you guys already know from my Biosounds review, which I have up here. You might wanna see that video because <laughs> Biosounds is <laughs> trash. Complete trash. Anyway, so this first product is called the Phyto Retinol Serum. Phyto meaning plants, meaning it's the natural derived form of retinol. It's Bakuchio. And there's nothing wrong with Bakuchio. Bakuchio has great benefits, but Bakuchio is also plant derived. It's a natural form. If you're really trying to get that dark spot taken off, especially for people of color that just have really intense dark spots that it's not easily removable by things like Bakuchio, I'm sorry, it just, it's not gonna work. This product is a scam and it's $72 you guys who i feel bad for people with no knowledge of skincare or for people that are not subscribed to my channel because you're gonna be falling for the scams so you better hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on brands that are trying to scam you out of your coins this product is bye bye we don't want you all right number two product here is a naturium face oil Ooh, this one naturium you know what it's not outrageously priced like freaking Biosons is only $25, but the active retinol in here is the hydroxypinoculate retinoate. So it's a ester of retinoic acid. So it's not retinoic acid. Retinoic acid must be gotten from a dermatologist. You cannot get retinoic acid over the counter. So clearly this brand is not trying to get their product approved by the FDA. They're trying to just release products and make their money quick cash. So my dear, I'm here to tell you that this product ain't it. Okay, no skip this product but i will recommend their actual retinol serum that one has retinol and uh bakuchio together and bakuchio actually helps retinol uh work better it amplifies the effects of retinol so i will advise that one over this one for sure save your coins next product here i'm going to talk about is actually the inky list <laughs> I'm actually gonna cry because I actually love the inky list. I feel bad about this one. I really really feel bad you guys like I'm not even lying I feel so bad, but I got it. I got to spill the tea is what I'm here for So this is a retinol serum. It has 1% Reti star and 0.5% ret Granaxi retinoid. You guys already know how I feel about Granaxi retinoid I feel like it's a scam. I feel like Granaxi retinoid is all marketing. It's new in the market a lot of research still being done so don't care about that. But I do want to focus on this 1% Reti Star Retinol or whatever they want to call it. Thank you and Katz who is an amazing subscriber here on my channel who is so insightful and always points me in the right direction. He actually brought to my attention when he did more research on this. He said that this Reti Star contains 1% retinol, tocopherol, retinol, sodium ascorbate and something else. So really the true percentage in this retinol is 0.05%. So it's very minute and a lot of brands do this where they don't give you the true percentage where something is a percent of a percent of something so it's not the true percentage that they're marketing it as so definitely keep an eye out for that for that i do not recommend this product all right fourth and last product here i'll be talking about is kind of a collection of products actually it's from the ordinary and we i love the ordinary you guys i know we all love the ordinary but you guys already know how i feel about granaxi retinoids so i am putting all of the granaxi retinoids they have on their websites in this category i do not vote for granaxi retinoid you're better off getting the actual retinol um which has tons of research to prove that it actually works over time. Granactive retinoids is still in the market. It's supposed to mimic the prescription retinoid. Might as well just go to the doctor and get actual retinoid acid instead of trying to cut corners and spend money on something that probably wouldn't even work. This is a not the business. Save your coins once again. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you like this video by subscribing and commenting and sharing this video with your friends and family so they don't miss out on the tea. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.